Hello, beta testers. Listen, it is my genuine belief that sharing this with you will make Crystal Dynamics patch this as fast as they can because they don't want you earning resources quickly, even though players have been starved for content for nine months. The tragedy of this is, of course, I expect them to fix this quickly, even though it's not broken. This is not a glitch, this is not an exploit, it's a straight up mission with a very high chance of a loot synthoid spawning. I think if Crystal Dynamics flinches to fix this, it'll show you just how much effort they're willing to put into slowing people down even when players have nothing to do, and since loot in this looter is still waiting for an overhaul and there's no gear rerolling or crafting, that even with these resources, you'd have nothing to use them on. <laughs> But, for those of you who want the resources, just in case, I present to you Kyle's event. At least until it's patched, anyway. From the war table in the northern expanse, select the priority mission up from the depths. This is the one with the yellow icon. This mission is intended as the temporary replacement for the Mega Hive that was removed because of bugs, and upon its first completion should grant you two exotics on the character that you completed on. The community wants this to stay. I mean, both can exist. Important notes for recreating my exact settings. I always play with at least one other online player, as in a non-AI companion. You guys can be partied up, I've done multiple runs with Dia no problem, and even though you're going to get good rewards across all challenge levels, it's recommended you do challenge 4 because that's where the polychloron drops. You see what I mean when I say they're going to patch this? When you take the elevator down, the floor plan is as follows. You like this? I haven't made one of these in a while. When you exit the elevator, you're going to cut a right and fight the enemies in the room. And immediately after this, the tunnels illuminated represent where the loot synthoid should spawn. He can spawn later in the level, but I recommend in the interest of your time that you Quinjet and relaunch the mission if he doesn't spawn here. Rinse and repeat. No different than certain other missions that you may do that with. I tried to leave the polychloron out of the thumbnail so it doesn't look too tantalizing, but you already know the nature of the video is just going to pique people's interest and they're going to be like, for real? A farm? Kyle? A farm? Yes. And especially with me branding it Kyle's event, it's most definitely for a limited time. And it saddens me that this game's first organic in-game community event has got to go because... Because of the polychloron, you know what I mean? The beauty of all of this to me is that I believe it is a deliberate increase of the spawn rate for the Synthoid by a developer who may have been tweaking or trying to make the, uh, the, the priority mission that replaces the Mega Hive a little bit better. You know, it'd be nice if everybody on their first way through and only way through, they assume, would, you know, come across a loot Synthoid. Oh, what a picture opportunity. Guys, look what I found. Let's share it on social media, right? All, if all goes according to plan, what they didn't count on is the cursed Kyle of the beta testers collecting clips to prove everybody wrong. Soaring, untethered by the lies that people try to force upon him. I'm collecting my own data, homie, and I need to get some bug testing back in there. But after over 20 of these spawning, I wanted to uh, do this for the community. And hopefully, Crystal doesn't immediately take an axe to it. In fact, I want to take part in this with you. Um, playing in the background are some clips to prove how frequently they did spawn if Crystal acts really fast. And after this video, I'll be streaming it live to farm at least 20 or so with Dia. So hopefully it doesn't take us too many tries. Join me. I'll be streaming this on YouTube, but follow me on twitch.tv slash Kyle if you can't make it to the YouTube stream. Either way, even if they ruin the, the fun of this for me by patching it, I think we're still going to be able to see how fast they move and how they can affect the game from their end. Educational. A shill didn't set this up. It was me. Kyle. Enjoy the clips. And remember guys, the gear is trash, but the resources may come in handy. Especially if some of y'all knew, boy, you weren't there in the old days where everybody was like, what are we going to do with all of this? And they had resource caps back then.
Good Lord. 